Once upon a time in the vibrant era of internal conflicts, a remarkable figure named Kenshin Uesugi was born in 1530 at Kasugayama Castle in Ichigo Province. He was the fourth son of the deputy governor, Naoi Kagetora. As a child, he was known as Torichio, a name bestowed upon him because he was born in the year of the tiger. According to the Chinese zodiac, during this tumultuous period, Kenshin's father, Naoi Kagetora, faced mounting pressure from local warlords such as Jojo Sadanori, and in August 1536, he was compelled to retire. The family estate was inherited by Kenshin's elder brother, Harukage, leaving Kenshin to seek refuge in a temple called Rinsenji within the castle town. As if intentionally avoiding his father, the precise reasons for Naoi Kagetora's unfavorable treatment of Kenshin remain shrouded in mystery. Some theories suggest that he harbored doubts about Kenshin's parentage. Suspecting that he might not be his own child, others propose that their personalities simply clashed. In 1543, Torichio came of age and adopted the name Nagao Kagetora, later known as Uesugi Kenshin. With this new name, he entered the majestic confines of Tokyo Castle, marking the beginning of an extraordinary chapter in his life. Let me entertain you with a hilarious tale of Uesugi Kenshin and his debut on the battlefield, the Battle of Tokyo Castle. It all started with a rather peculiar dilemma involving Uesugi Sadama, who was contemplating whether to marry his son off to date to Mimun's daughter. As expected, this conundrum divided people into two camps, those in favor and those against the marriage. To make matters worse, Kenshin's brother, Harukage, who held the power at the time, was plagued with a feeble constitution. This led to a state of internal strife within the clan. To make matters even more chaotic, the following year in 1544, a group of rebellious warlords from Ichigo decided to attack Tokyo Castle, where our hero Kenshin resided. One might have thought that the conflict would escalate into an all-out war, but fate had a wicked sense of humor in store. The audacity of underestimating a 15-year-old Kenshin proved to be the turning point. In his first ever battle, Kenshin cunningly divided his meager troops into two groups and launched a surprise attack on the enemy's rear. The enemy forces were thrown into utter disarray, and to add insult to injury, Kenshin ordered his main force within the castle to launch a furious assault. The tide of battle shifted dramatically in Kenshin's favor, and with a triumphant victory, his debut on the battlefield came to a close. Oh, the laughter that echoed through the castle halls. The young Kenshin had proven that age was just a number. And his enemies learned the hard way never to underestimate the might of a fierce warrior with a mischievous smile. Get ready for a side-splitting tale of Uesugi Kenshin and his glorious exploits in the Battle of Kawanakajima. After his dazzling debut, the mighty Nagao Kagetora, also known as Uesugi Kenshin, continued to stack up victories on the battlefield. In 1550, with the support of the 13th Shogun of the Ashikaga Sogonate, Ashikaga Yoshiteru, Kenshin solidified his position as the ruler of Ichigo province. But the fun didn't stop there. In 1551, at the tender age of 22, Kenshin accomplished the unthinkable by putting an end to the long-standing internal conflicts and uniting Ichigo under his rule. The following year, trouble came knocking in the form of the indomitable Hojo Ujiyasa from Sagami province. Fleeing to Ichigo after being invaded by Ujiyasa, the Kanto Kanrei, Uesugi Norimun, sought refuge with none other than our quick-witted hero, Kenshin. Little did Kenshin know that this act of kindness would turn him into an arch-nemesis of Hojo Ujiyasa. In August of the same year, Kenshin dispatched his forces to Kanto and successfully drove the Hojo army out of Kazuk province. 
Not stopping there, he even extended his generosity to Ogasawara Nagatoki. The guardian of Shinano province who had been chased out by Takeda Shingen. This act, however, marked Kenshin's entry into an antagonistic relationship with Takeda Shingen as well. In 1553, with his power steadily growing, the resolute Kenshin made up his mind to crush the forces led by Takeda Shingen at the infamous Battle of Kawanakajima. It marked the first of many skirmishes that would continue for the next 12 years. Kenshin personally took charge of his army and marched into Shinano province. The result? A resounding victory for the forces of Nagao Kagetora. In the subsequent battles of Kawanakajima, Kenshin skillfully negotiated favorable terms. Securing the return of his territories and emerging victorious once again. In the Third Battle of Kawanakajima in 1557, Kenshin's forces advanced deep into Takeda territory. While the Takeda army opted for a defensive strategy, avoiding an all-out confrontation, the battle ended in a stalemate, leaving everyone scratching their heads in confusion. Oh! The comedic twists and turns of fate in the tumultuous world of war. Uesugi Kenshin's indomitable spirit, strategic brilliance, and knack for making enemies out of the most formidable opponents will be remembered as one of history's most amusing tales. Get ready for a hilariously captivating tale of Uesugi Kenshin's exploits in the Battle of Odawara Castle. In 1559, our hero Nagao Kagetora achieved a second visit to the capital where he met with Emperor Shochinmanen and the shogun, Ashikaga Yoshiteru. Rumor has it that he received treatment akin to that of a high-ranking general. Then, in May 1560, when the Kasosun Three State Alliance stumbled due to the Battle of Akehazama, Nagao Kagetora, now known as Uesugi Kenshin, made a bold decision to take on the formidable Hojo Ujiyasa. As he journeyed from Ichigo to the Kanto region, he received support from Nagano Nariuki, the lord of Manoa Castle in Ueno province, and one by one, he conquered the Hojo-held castles along the way. Establishing a base in Kanto, he gradually cornered the Hojo forces. Waiting for the perfect moment, Kenshin enjoyed the passing of the seasons. Seeking the cooperation of various Kanto warlords in his quest to bring down the Hojo clan. Finally, with the new year upon them, he launched his march into Musashi province. Ready to unleash his uproarious assault on the unsuspecting Hojo forces. Oh, the audacity and wit of Uesugi Kenshin. With each conquered castle, he brought laughter and confusion to the enemy ranks. Leading an army of 100,000, he surrounded the various castles, including Odawara Castle itself, and launched a comical attack. Thanks to Kenshin's ferocious onslaught, Hojo Ujiyasa was forced to make the bold decision to defend from within the castle walls. But alas! Just as victory seemed within reach, a portion of the army, unable to sustain a prolonged campaign, abandoned their positions without permission, resulting in a decrease in forces. To make matters worse, Takeda Shingen's movements served as a distraction, forcing Kenshin's army to divert attention to their rear. The tides of battle quickly shifted into a stalemate. Despite a month-long siege, Uesugi Kenshin's forces failed to achieve their desired outcome, and they were forced to retreat to Kamakura. Stay tuned for the next uproarious chapter in the legend of Uesugi Kenshin as he continues his quest for glory and laughter in the face of adversity. Prepare yourself for an uproarious tale of Uesugi Kenshin's escapades as he bewilders the Takeda army with his divine tactics and chariot formation. In 1561, our cunning protagonist Nagao Kagetora at the behest of Uesugi Norimasa, inherited the leadership of the Yamanuchi Uesugi clan and the position of Kanto Kanrei. With a name change to Uesugi Masakatsu, he embarked on a grand adventure. 
Returning to Kanto in August of the same year, Yuisugi Masakatsu faced off against the renowned Battle of Hachimanbara. The most famous clash of the five battles that took place in the ongoing Battle of Kawanakajima. Amidst the thick fog, Masakatsu deployed his ingenious chariot formation. This tactic involved organizing his troops into multiple columns, launching attacks, and swiftly retreating. While fresh reserves pounced on the unsuspecting enemy, as the fog lifted, the Takeda army was caught off guard, plunging the battlefield into utter chaos. And let me regale you with another tale from this battle, a truly legendary anecdote. It involves Yuisugi Masakatsu, mounted on his trusty steed, charging into the enemy's headquarters. Engaging in a thrilling one on one duel with Takeda Shingen himself. The story goes that Masakatsu swung his sword, only for Takeda Shingen to parry the blow with his war fan. However, it's highly likely that this particular tale is a later fabrication. Although the battle inflicted significant casualties on the Takeda forces, with Takeda retainers such as Yamamoto Kansuki and Takeda Shingen's brother, Takeda Nobukane, falling in combat, it ended without a clear resolution. In November 1561, Yuesugi Masakatsu confronted Hojo Ujiyasa in the Battle of Akuno Mountain. Unfortunately, due to the toll taken by the Battle of Kawanakajima, he suffered defeat. However, he managed to repel the Hojo forces from Matsuyama Castle, achieving a small victory. But alas, our defeated hero faced another tribulation, betrayal from within his own ranks. His own kin, such as Yuesugi Norimori, turned traitor and many warlords switched sides, completely altering the situation. Undeterred, Yuesugi Masakatsu set out to reclaim the loyalty of his turncoat allies. However, the formidable Karasawayama Castle, known for its impregnability, proved to be a tough nut to crack. The Battle of Karasawayama Castle, which began in 1560, Continued to be fought a staggering ten times until Yuesugi Masakatsu finally withdrew his troops in 1570. Stay tuned for more uproarious misadventures as Yuesugi Masakatsu braves the odds and navigates the treacherous world of feudal Japan with wit, charisma, and a healthy dose of laughter. In the year 1561, Yuesugi Masakatsu embraced a new name, Yuesugi Terutora, signifying his radiant presence. The following year, in July 1562, he marched into Echizen province, expanding his influence. However, during his absence from Kanto, a joint force of 50,000 soldiers from the Hojo and Takeda clans launched a surprise attack on Matsuyama Castle. Caught off guard and outnumbered, Yuesugi Terutora found himself in a precarious situation. With the borders blocked by snow, he hurriedly made his way to Matsuyama Castle, but alas, he arrived too late. The castle had already fallen. Undeterred by this setback, Yuesugi Terutora pressed on with unwavering determination. He launched campaigns into Musashi, Shimotsuke, Shimofusa, and Hitachi provinces, systematically capturing one stronghold after another. In 1564, the final battle of Kawanakajima erupted. This epic clash lasted for a staggering 60 days and ended in a draw. From that point on, Yuesugi Terutora and Takeda Shingen would never engage in battle at Kawanakajima again. In 1565, during the pivotal First Battle of Sakiata, for the strategic fortress of Sakiata Castle, Yuesugi Terutora faced not only a grueling struggle but also the additional blow of his loyal allies in Kanto defecting to the enemy's side. The odds were stacked against him. Stay tuned as the indomitable Yuesugi Terutora continues his relentless pursuit, facing the challenges of war, betrayal, and the ever unpredictable twists of fate in his quest for dominance in the land of Kanto.
Let's dive into the thrilling and comical tale of Uesugi Kenshin in the ever-evolving saga of the Uesugi Takeda Hojo conflict. It all started when Takeda's Shingen shattered the formidable alliance known as the Kaso Suruga Three Provinces Alliance with Hojo Ujiyasa, launching an audacious invasion into Suruga Province. This unexpected move turned former allies into bitter enemies, plunging the region into a three-way chaos. In the year 1569, Uesugi Terutora, now known as Uesugi Kenshin, and Hojo Ujiyasa forged a new pact called the Ichigo Sagami Alliance. This alliance served two purposes. To restrain the ambitious Takeda Shingen and to counter the relentless incursions of the Hojo forces. However, this alliance sparked doubts and suspicion among the Kanto warlords, who had grown increasingly disgruntled with Kenshin's repeated military expeditions to Kanto. As tensions rose, the mighty daimyo of Awa province, Saito Yoshitaka, who had been long at odds with the Hojo clan, decided to break the alliance with Kenshin and instead allied himself with none other than Takeda Shingen. The Kanto warlords began questioning Kenshin's trustworthiness even more. But wait, the story takes a surprising twist. In December 1570, Kenshin made a sudden transformation. He renounced his worldly pursuits, took up a religious life, and adopted the name, Fushiki and Kenshin. From that moment forward, he was known as the legendary Uesugi Kenshin. With his new identity and unwavering resolve, Uesugi Kenshin marches forward, ready to face the challenges, rival warlords, and the chaotic tapestry of alliances and betrayals that await him. Will he emerge victorious and bring peace to the land, or will the whirlwind of battles and shifting alliances continue to bewilder all who dare to stand in his path? Stay tuned to find out. Let's embark on a hilarious and adventurous journey through the struggles faced by Uesugi Kenshin in his battle against the formidable Hojo Ujimasa. In the eventful year of 1571, a remarkable change unfolded with the passing of Hojo Ujiyasa. His son, Hojo Ujimasa, inherited the family legacy and promptly shattered the alliance with Uesugi Kenshin. Instead, Ujimasa rekindled an alliance with none other than Takeda Shingen, turning Kenshin into his new arch-nemesis. As the years rolled by, the tension between Uesugi Kenshin and Hojo Ujimasa reached its peak. In 1574, they found themselves locked in a fierce stare down across the turbulent waters of the Tone River. Alas! The river swelled, thwarting Kenshin's attempt to cross and leaving them in a comical standoff. Faced with the incooperative river, Kenshin had no choice but to retreat. To make matters worse, during the infamous Third Battle of Sakiyabashi that same year, the Kanto warlords failed to send reinforcements to aid Kenshin. Left to fend for himself, Kenshin found himself unable to launch a full-scale attack, and Sakiyabashi Castle surrendered without a fight. At this point, the influence of the Uesugi faction in Kanto had diminished significantly, leaving them in a rather comically dire situation. Will Uesugi Kenshin find a way to turn the tides and outsmart his wily adversary? Or will he be caught in a series of comical misadventures, struggling against the odds? Join us next time as the unpredictable tale of Uesugi Kenshin continues to unfold. Get ready for a hilarious and epic tale as Uesugi Kenshin embarks on a quest to seize the coveted dominion of Noto Province setting his sights on the mighty fortress known as Naneo Castle. In the year 1576, Uesugi Kenshin, in a mad rush to claim control over Noto province, hastens his journey to the heart of Japan. There, he spots the key stronghold of Naneo Castle, beckoning him with promises of power and glory. Inside the castle, factions are at odds a group that desperately wants to align with Uesugi Kenshin and another considering joining forces with the notorious Oda Nobunaga. 
As Kenshin approaches, hoping to secure control without shedding a drop of blood, negotiations take an amusingly disastrous turn. Thus begins the grand spectacle known as the Battle of Naneo Castle, a clash of wills for dominion over Noto province. Undeterred, Kenshin begins his master plan by systematically conquering the neighboring castles of Noto province, isolating Naneo Castle from reinforcements. Victory seems within reach. But little does Kenshin know that Naneo Castle, perched atop Mount Matsuo, is a formidable mountain fortress that will test his patience and wit. The siege drags on for nearly a year. While the situation worsens with the advance of the Hojo forces and enemy attempts to retake the other castles. Yet, Kenshin refuses to give up on his quest for Naneo Castle. Finally, in 1577, after enduring a prolonged siege and a rampant outbreak of disease within the castle walls, the defenders of Naneo Castle surrender. Triumphantly, Uesugi Kenshin seizes control. Securing his dominance over Noto province and leaving us in awe of his indomitable spirit. Join us next time, time as we unravel more uproarious adventures and remarkable conquests in the thrilling saga of Uesugi Kenshin. Get ready for a thrilling and comical tale as we witness the dramatic final chapter of the military genius, Uesugi Kenshin. In the same year that Uesugi Kenshin conquered Naneo Castle, he received a desperate plea for reinforcements from the castle's defenders, and the call reached none other than Oda Nobunaga, who was ready to send troops to their aid. With an army of a staggering 30,000 soldiers, including the renowned warrior Hideyoshi Hashiba, they began their march towards the north, heading to the northern regions of Kaga. Sensing the impending threat, Uesugi Kenshin swiftly descended south to confront them head on. Meanwhile, the Oda forces faced their own comedic misadventures on the way. Differences of opinion arose among their ranks, leading to the departure of Hideyoshi Hashiba and a lack of coordination. As if that wasn't enough, they received word that the Uesugi forces had already set up camp right before their eyes, causing them to realize the disadvantageous situation. In a hasty retreat, they began to withdraw. Sensing the opportunity, Uesugi Kenshin pursued the retreating Oda forces, resulting in a resounding victory. Fast forward to the following year, 1578. Uesugi Kenshin returned to his stronghold, Kasugayama Castle, after the campaign. However, tragedy struck as he suddenly collapsed and passed away while attending to his preparations for the next expedition. He was only 49 years old. It is said that he succumbed to illness, such as cerebral hemorrhage. The sudden demise of the military deity, Uesugi Kenshin, threw the Uesugi clan into chaos. Uesugi Kenshin had not designated a clear successor between his adopted sons, Uesugi Kagekatsu and Uesugi Kagetora. Thus, a succession dispute known as the Battle of Oyama, erupted. Emerging victorious from this conflict was Uesugi Kagekatsu. Subsequently, he pledged allegiance to Toyotomi Hideyoshi and rose to the ranks of the Five Elders. Join us next time as we continue to unravel the exhilarating tales of conquest and rivalry in the rich tapestry of Japanese history.